Now today, uh, Mr. Weinstein, uh, the defendant, was uh, sentenced by Judge Lynch in this L.A. Uh, prosecution. Um, he was convicted of three felonies involving Jane Doe one. He has been sentenced to consecutive sentences for the three felonies. Um, I represent, in this case, Jane Doe two, uh, Jane Doe five, and Natasha M. Uh, all of my three clients here wanted to be able to uh, give a victim impact statement today at the sentence, uh, at the sentencing hearing. Um, I argued to the judge more than a week ago that the California Constitution uh, provides and in fact requires that victims be able to give a victim impact statement at a sentencing hearing. To decide to call them as a victim and then not allow them to give a victim impact statement in a court of law so that their words and what they suffered and the defendant can't hear what they suffered as a result of his misconduct and in some cases crimes against them, I think is unfair, outrageous and not to be accepted because the Constitution says that victims of crimes are worthy of respect and fairness and to be treated with dignity. If as and when the Court of Appeals decides on our writ, at least two of them are going to come to Los Angeles and they're going to speak, even if it's at a press conference and not in a court of law. And I think the third one is going to try as well. The voices of victims, especially women victims, should not be silenced. They should not be treated as a footnote. They are not garden statues. They are human beings. They have feelings. They have been hurt. They have cried many tears. And it's time not just to say that victims deserve respect and dignity, but to show it in deeds and allow them to be heard where it matters most in a court of law. So Harvey Weinstein, we've heard his time many times. It's time to hear from the victims. Thank you.